So let, let's go ahead and uh, for those of you participating at home, uh, we want to get your, your left hand up into this nice, we want it to be like you're holding like a, a softball or imagine like you've got like a big orange or grapefruit in there. And that's going to rest right there. Your thumb's going to go right up in there. Um, on some French horns, they actually have two sets of crooks or two sets of pipes, uh, which can be changed using your thumb. This one is a single horn, so it only has one set. And you want your fingers to rest nice and gracefully right up on the top of those thumbs, which are flat. Right? They look like spatulas. Right? Okay, and uh, with no disrespect to our men and women in uniform, give a nice salute. You're going to turn that over, and that's going to go right here in your bell. All right. So now we've got the instrument kind of right where we want. We're going to be able to manipulate this really, really well. And we're just going to pull it up, and you get the mouthpiece nice and wet. Remember with that, that buzzing sensation we did? Sometimes, uh, French horns, especially if we want to get that sound nice and blasty, they'll pull their horns up like this, and get them up, up out, of, out of the stand or out from sitting where, where they're sitting. Uh, something a little bit more unique about the French horn, you'll notice that the valves are connected to these circles up here. And that is because this, uh, the valves on a French horn are not pistons like a trumpet that go up and down. They are rotors. They spin inside the valve casing. So when I push this down inside this circle, a valve is going and opening up the air to flow through the tubing. And then when I let up, it goes and snaps back. All right. So um, uh, if you look on the back, you'll see the, these are what we call mechanical linkage um, valves. Um, sometimes uh, on French horns, you'll see them connected by uh, something as simple as fishing line or a nylon string. Uh, whatever it takes to get them connected. Uh, this one is just happens to be connected by uh, mechanical linkage and a little bit of a, a little really cool little bearing. Um, so that's the French horn. Again, has that nice, uh, that nice mellow sound, um, but there's nothing French about it. it. Is it Italian? Is it Latin? Is it German? Is it French? Who knows? It's a universal instrument. It's really, really cool. Um, as far as what the parts it plays, it's a little bit lower, um, kind of stuck somewhere in between a trombone and, and a trumpet. Uh, so covers can cover some of the melody, but definitely likes to play some of those nice. Uh, alto level uh, harmonies, etc., etc. All right. Uh, so that this has been the horn in F, and this has been uh, another episode of Mr. V's uh, Garage Band. Uh, I want to again thank all the essential personnel out there, uh, our people in uniform here, uh, keeping us safe. Uh, all you medical personnel who are out there doing the thing, keeping us happy and healthy. And uh, uh, some of the unsung heroes out there, like the people out there stocking the grocery, shores, uh, grocery store shelves. I went out and uh, did our grocery shopping for the week this morning. Uh, you folks up out there are doing a great job. Please uh, know that we are extremely thankful for all that you do, uh, for allowing us to remain home and do our part to help flatten the curve as it were um, and uh, I don't know if I'll be back on later tonight to, to do an other instrument we'll see how the kids are, are doing up, uh, uh, outside the bunker <laughs> we've had a little bit of cabin fever all right folks I hope you had a blessed and wonderful Easter and that you're having a great Easter Monday and uh, this is Mr. V signing off from the bunker in Cambodia and we'll catch you later as my friend Jonathan Fisk likes to say, keep your head out of the mud and 